Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Hello learners, my name is Stephen Kariungi. Welcome to our today's biology lesson. Uh, we are continuing with the topic of transport in plants and animals. Uh, specifically, uh, we are looking at uh, the tissues that form the root and their functions. Uh, during the last lesson, we discussed the root hairs, the root cup, and today we are going to continue with the same. And uh, the tissue that I want us to uh, learn next is the cortex. So the cortex is one of the tissues that is found in the roots. And this particular tissue is found underneath the epidermis, just underneath the epidermis. So you can see that the cortex is found underneath the epidermis. That is the position. Uh, number two, the cortex is made of loosely packed parenchyma cells. It's made of loosely packed parenchyma cells. And these cells that are loosely packed, uh, they enhance storage of materials. That's why they are not closely packed, but instead they leave some spaces to allow storage to take place. So basically, the parenchyma cells are meant for storage. So we'll say that uh, the function, function of the cortex has parenchyma cells for storage of materials such as water and nutrients. Now the next uh, tissue that we are going to look at is the endodermis. Endodermis and uh, endodermis is found beneath the cortex and it's made up of a single layer of cells. It's a single layer of cells. beneath the cortex it contains starch grains and casparian strip its function The presence of the Casparian strip, which is impervious, is the one that controls the movement of water and mineral salts into the xylem. So uh, we can uh, mention here that uh, the endodermis controls the movement of water and mineral salts controls the movement of water and mineral salts into the xylem. Then the next tissue that we are going to discuss is the pericycle. All these tissues are in the diagrams that we had in our previous lesson. Uh, the pericycle is found underneath the endodermis.
and its function is the one that gives rise to lateral roots the roots that grow sideways the lateral roots branch from the pericycle So that is it. Uh, the next uh, uh, tissue, we have the vascular bundles, which we have mentioned earlier. And this consists of the xylem and the phloem. The xylem transports water and mineral salts. The xylem transports water and mineral salts. From the root to the leaves. Then we have the phloem. This one transports products of photosynthesis. That is the manufactured food. Transports products of photosynthesis from the leaves. Of course, where the photosynthesis occurs to the rest of the plant. the rest of the plant. So basically that is all about the root. So we have seen the various tissues that make the root. We started by looking the uh, we started by studying the root hairs. Uh, we learned about the root cup. We saw the various zones, the zones of cell division, cell differentiation and cell elongation. Then we went on to study the cortex and its function which is storage, the endodermis, whose function is to control the movement of water and mineral salts into the xylem, the pericycle, which gives rise to the lateral roots, finally, the vascular bundles, which is made of the xylem and the phloem, and we have looked at their functions. So we are going to have a short assignment based on this. So the first question, state the main difference between monocotyledonous root and dicotyledonous root. Number two, what is the function of the following tissues in the root? We have the endodermis, pericycle, and the cortex. So we are going to stop there for today. See you next time. Thank you.